Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth day of the Coco 30 day challenge as I am calling it which is my silly attempt to complete the whole Poco Anatomy course in 30 days. Okay, so before we get into what I learned today, I have curious news to share with you. My news is that we got a comment from the man himself, Stan Pokupenko. Hi Stan, if you're watching this, I want to thank you so deeply from the bottom of my heart for that episode of Poco where you threw that freaking baby into the skeleton's pelvis. That was like the best thing I've ever seen. But yeah, thank you Mr. Poco for the kind words. Much appreciated. And I will take them with me on my epic spiritual journey towards atomistic enlightenment. On the, uh, on the old Poco forum, Stan also left a comment which was about burnout. Thank you Stan for the question. I haven't experienced any precipitous fall into misery and failure quite yet but I am going to try to avoid these things. The main way I'm trying to do this is not to like grind so hard on anatomy that I forget to sleep because you know I'm not convinced I can finish the anatomy course uh, as a zombie. Okay that's enough for the epic celebrity corner but we have to get into what I learned today. Today was um, the shoulder bones and I've been dreading the shoulder bones for a long time because I feel like I say this every episode I say like oh this is a really complicated shape and it requires a lot of perspective and uh, form and it's a tricky shape but okay the shoulder joints I really mean it these things are like impossible uh, you have like this ribbon type extrusion and all this stuff that's going on I mean what is it what is it? So today I think took a lot of extra effort that I hadn't put in the previous days. I mean, I'm kind of familiar with the ribcage and the pelvis and the spine, but like the intricacies of the like acromion process are a whole different thing. My advice to anyone who's stuck on it uh, is to watch Stan lay in the shoulder bones again and again. Because essentially, it's a complicated shape. It took me watching the example videos again and again. And then not only that, but comparing how Stan was laying in his drawing to like the reference and like actually pointing at it with my finger and my pen and trying to like trace the outline of the shoulder girdle under the musculature. I mean, that's another thing, like the back muscles are so complicated. So like trying to accurately find the bone under them was like extremely difficult for me. I'm slightly forgiving of myself because obviously we haven't gotten to the back muscles yet. So I really tried to just focus on the bone. I mean, when you're moving at a pace such as this, I can't do it all, but I'll try my best. But it's important to me at the end of every day to have assignments that I'm good with before I move on. Because I think if I get kind of lazy and let my quality drop, I'm gonna be inviting terrible ruin later down the line because like the course is additive so if I'm messing up the shoulder bones in an extreme way at this point later down the line when I'm trying to attach muscles and stuff to it it's also gonna be an issue so I'm trying really hard to pay attention to these bony shapes even if they're so peculiar but yeah anyways it was a tricky day but I'm excited because I believe that tomorrow we're starting the muscles if you wish to subscribe please do it's like getting a ticket to a very unstable train, which could go off the rails at any second. And either you're going to get to a destination quickly, or you're going to observe a beautiful catastrophe. Both of these options seem really exciting. Anyways, no matter what, at least at the end of the day, I can say that I have studied the blade. <laughs>